Today we're going to take a garden tour of the peonies, year 2023. Let's get started. So it's early in the morning because I think the light is even better early in the morning than it is when the light is coming down at 12 o'clock, let's say, straight down on your head. This is a back pocket garden with a little sculpture in it that was made by my grandmother. I'm really lucky to have it. You know, a row of hostas will always work. And I wanted to show Miss Callie, who is completely recovered from her coyote attack of about a month ago. She's up in the blueberry bushes and I called her and she came right away. Yay! What a good dog. <laughs> she doesn't seem uh, affected by that uh, attack at all, which is really great to see. So this is the back and that red section is my studio. I made it into what I consider sort of a schoolhouse because I was a school teacher before I became an artist. Now we're going to go back to the garden tour in a minute, but first a few stills just to show that early morning light. If you're going to take pictures for painting, Early morning light is really good and late afternoon light is really good because you're going to get those shadow shapes that you won't get when there's bright sunlight. And here are some of the varieties of peonies that I have. I, I love them all. I mean, how can you not love them? And they're searching for the sun. They're standing up straight searching for the sun. I also want to make a point here, which is sometimes your garden wants to be what it wants to be. And in this case, I was given uh, some black irises. I had one black iris from a order that I put in with a bulb company and it turned into this. I would never have ordered a black iris, but they seem to want to be in my garden. And sometimes your garden tells you what it wants. <laughs> I love the illusion of this because you have several layers of textures and shapes and then the dancing girl and the peonies are starting to envelop her. There's something about that that I really love. And this dancing girl, I call her the dancing girl, but I think the name of the sculpture is actually Rhythm. And that was made by my grandmother years and years and years ago. It just seems to fit here. It's, it's, it's nice when you can find objects from your past and be able to put them in a place that feels like they always should have been here. Now the blooms always get all the attention, but what I really like about the garden, like I said, is, is the different layers and textures that can occur. And so this is just one slice of what can happen in a garden. If you have a garden and you can consider having layers, think in terms of uneven numbers, fives, threes, sevens, that'll really help out. Nature does not like even numbers. This is the view when I first walk out the door. And I always think of it like Alice in Wonderland, when, uh, not Alice in Wonderland, what is it? A Wizard of Oz, when Dorothy first opens that door into Oz and it's colorful. That's what it looks like, especially when you consider that the winter was just what it is. You know, the winter here is extremely cold, extremely white, extremely monochrome. You have to really embrace wanting to be here because it's also labor intensive. I mean, there's real life there. The wood pile, and that's only part of the wood pile, and the dirt because you have to put compost into your garden. I mean, this is not <laughs> the ladder. I mean, this is not... This is not an Instagram garden. This is the, yeah, this is what you have to do in order to have a garden. You got to do, you got to do what I think of as all the things. You got to do all the things. And uh, that's what we do. We have some hummingbird feeders up because they're delightful to see. And so I really consider this a home garden. And this is as much as we can handle because if we get too much bigger, it just becomes way more labor intensive. Gardens want to grow, and in June, they will not. Nothing will stop them. And that's that's also a life metaphor. There's a, such a life force going on here with the peonies pulling toward the sun. Nothing's going to stop them. Not even the uh, minus 30 degree day that we had in the winter here. Uh, there's a, a look at the back garden one more time where we haven't put the same attention into the back, simply because we don't have the energy to garden both the front and the back. And one last look at our, our Miss Callie, who's just doing so great. So lovely to see her. And again, real life, that, there's our fancy barbecue, because <laughs> we just light a fire for the few times that we barbecue. This is definitely not a show home, but we make the most of what we have, and we're really lucky to have it. I don't, I don't mean to belittle it in any way. 
but it's a it's a working home not not a Instagram home but now I seem to have an Instagram eye because when I'm looking at these pictures I think to myself oh now I've been trained to see the uh, imperfections but I'm going to focus on what's positive. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Stay calm and paint peonies, and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.